Welcome. Well, this is uh, to demonstrate and explain the different types of pages and construction that one could do with Decision Sim, a nonlinear recursive web based platform for virtual human simulation, case presentations, procedural uh, discussions, or any other type of learning that uh, you could do even with the PowerPoint, but a lot more powerful. So, what is it? This is it. And okay, and why should I want to use it? So if you click on here, you see it's green. That means you're ready to go. This first page is a narrative page. So why use virtual simulation type games? Well, <clears throat> these games are because clinical decision making is one of the most important skills that can be taught in medical school, just like any other skill. So um, although I might be going fast, you could slow this down and read it at your pace or stop the movie at any time. So you could use this tool and the resulting virtual information to recognize deficiencies, decision making, the type of knowledge base that the students may have, or even uh, clinical practice to make sure the learner knows what to ask for to make a decision. Reevaluate re re decision making skills, um, as well as uh, teach important things such as uh, safety, and um, that's connected to uh, clinical decisions. So tell me some more. Well, the main pages. <clears throat> There's a narrative. Well, the first two nodes was a narrative node or a page. Okay. And then we have branching, which directs the learner down different paths based upon the decision or choice that they make. And this page now is going to become a branching node. And then we have multiple choice questions, MCQs. It probes the learner comprehension, and the learner cannot continue until they make the right choice. But you have instant feedback and explanations. In an inquiry, a learner is gather information by picking from queries such as history, physical lab, x-rays, etc., which gives them immediate feedback as well. And then there's a text response or text page. You could probe the learner's knowledge by asking a question and having them type in a response and can't continue until they submit it. Um, these type of things are best if you have also um, <clears throat> probably developed the answer beforehand or have a template so you could ans uh, answer these and grade them. Otherwise you could spend a lot of time uh, if you use this too much. Orphan node is a node that's, uh, is a node that's not connected to the game directly as in the other nodes. However, you can set up um, laws or uh, map out that if they reach a certain number, let's say a wrong answers, they'll be sent to this node where extra training could be done or instruction given. So uh, this becomes very powerful. As you see here, we can track the cost if we assign a cost to it, uh, score. Right now, you see your status is 100. That could be patient status, uh, patient satisfaction, or any other thing you may assign to it. How many steps did it take to get here? How long it took? And the elapsed time so far. So <clears throat> we can now go and demonstrate the other types of pages. So that was an MC. Uh, that was a branch, and we branched off to this MCQ node. Notice the change. The continue button at the bottom is black. It hasn't been activated yet. So what can we do? Well, we could pick a choice. We can direct the, uh, the learner down a different node path based on decisions made. Well, that's not a correct choice. Uh, we let uh, learners gather uh, information. No, this is an incorrect choice. This describes an inquiry node. Uh, so you can see that I could keep on uh, picking, but the, when I pick the right one, for instance, way to go. The learner probes um, these uh, types of pages probes the learner's comprehension and knowledge. Let's look at another node then. Text response. This is a text response node, unlike an MCQ page. So how does a learner respond on this type of node? For instance, we'll type in text. This is going to be sent to my partner as I do this. So you enter the word text. Show me how an inquiry node works. Inquiry just asks a question. You can't put text or any media on any type of a page. I could make this into a movie, for instance. Text and font characteristics are available in a tool visible at the top of each page, much like the current uh, MS Word. So tell me how pictures are used. Well, they're all edited with only the software in my OS and uploaded via Decision Sim to the game server. How do I control placement? Allows you to pick from multiple options. 
how many inquiries. You could have up to 20, but I think about four to six is an adequate number. Is there a limit to feedback? I never use more than 50 to 60 words in a single feedback box. I'm not really sure, but I think that's the way to go. Continue. So do I want to go back and review the t page types? Well, you could do that. If so, move on below and pick that. But let's uh, tell me more about decision sim capabilities. So we could say we have a disaster page. It's not connected to the flow of the game. We'll show you a game map later. Uh, well, you ignored all my previous uh, instructions. And we got here because the parameter that I set, rules, sent the learner here, a score, a cause, a patient status, etc. And that some decisions were made that indicated a need for educational or remedial work. Or maybe an excellent student would enter a different map and do uh, some other things. The map later will show you why this can't be done with PowerPoint. So I understand my errors. Do I want to go back and review the pages? Uh, you might want to do that. Uh, <clears throat> but I think that uh, doing that is pretty good. So here's some more. Live URLs, you can put those in and insert, bring them out to a, a point to view something. CD, CD guide for pharyngitis, for instance, you can see that. And then you could click back, get back to where you are, and can you use video. You know, video works, uh, takes a few seconds to load. The stutter and a lack of sound is caused by the screen scrape methodology used by a Hangout service. So you can see that we can begin that. The labrum is a piece of cartilage that cushions the humerus head in the glenoid. This cartilage also helps to stabilize the joint. The rotator cuff is a group of four muscles that pull the humerus into the scapula. The rotator so you could cuff add these movies and then move on, the uh, joint. If you like. So what about documents or pictures? Well, we could even clip in and put in documents. This is a picture document of what you had just seen at the CDC. And here's a game map. Uh, so this is the map of this exercise. Welcome, page types. Then we go down to different page types. Uh, do I want to go back and review them or go down others? But we demonstrated each one no matter which one you picked. Then live URLs, videos, yes, there you are. This is a fairly straightforward one you could drop down. But if they decide to make an early decision, early closure, you could bring them out, uh, loop them through and back again and explain why they shouldn't do that. Or if they want to jump to physical exam before doing a history, there's all different ways you can do this. And finally, below is a complicated virtual sim map that uh, would fit on a 27-inch screen all at once. But even then, we had to cut this off. But you can see that there are multiple recursive type of things that you can do. We use three schemes in that uh, type of uh, uh, educational virtual simulation. You also get reports. And these uh, data reports is accessible through the icon at the lower left of this uh, page. And uh, so you could add scores or neutrals. And you could put the ending type of things. So let's take a look at a case report. And this case report, then I'll bring in here. And I'll put it into uh, a way that you can see it. So you can uh, look at the time, the time spent, how many steps it took, how much cost it took if you assign cost to it. Each uh, page could be assessed. Each decision could be assessed and analyzed. And then you really know what, how the student did and what's going on, or even as a group action. So. That's uh, one of the uh, case reports. You saw the map. This is the end of it. Thank you very much.